You don't really choose a Linux distro, it chooses you. It's like a digital sorting hat aligning your personality with a specific flavor of the Linux kernel. Your distro choice says more about you than your favorite movie or even your Zodiac sign. Today we're holding up a mirror to the Linux community to see what our choices reflect back at us. So, grab your favorite beverage and prepare for some hard truths. Let's start with Ubuntu. If you use Ubuntu, you're a pragmatist who values time and reliability. You want your computer to work out of the box, no drama, no endless tweaking. The dock on the left? Fine. The orange and purple? Iconic enough. You accept snaps and minor quirks as the price of convenience. Your desktop is clean, your files are organized, and you have a backup plan. You're the reliable friend, the bedrock of the Linux desktop world. You just want a computer that works, and Ubuntu delivers. And then, there's Arch. The name alone carries a certain weight in the Linux world, a reputation for being both a challenge and a badge of honor. If you use Arch, you didn't just install an OS, you survived a rite of passage. You faced the unknown, and you came out stronger, more knowledgeable, and a little bit prouder. You started with nothing but a blinking cursor, the vast Arch wiki, and a sense of existential dread. Every command you typed was a leap of faith, every error message a puzzle to solve. Your config files are sacred scrolls, carefully crafted and fiercely protected. Your desktop isn't just a workspace. It's a testament to your willpower, creativity, and persistence. You live on the bleeding edge, updating daily, always ready to fix what breaks. Each update is a new adventure, a test of your skills and patience. You didn't choose Arch for stability, you chose it for control, for the freedom to shape your system exactly as you want it, down to the smallest detail. Every pixel is where you want it because you put it there. Your environment is a reflection of your choices, your preferences, and your journey. You're the master of your domain, the architect of your digital world, and you wear that title with pride. And yes, you get to say, I use Arch, by the way. It's more than a meme. It's a subtle nod to the journey you've taken. It's a badge of honor earned through pain, perseverance, and the satisfaction of knowing you built something truly your own. Kaylee Linux, the legendary distro with the unmistakable dragon logo. It's more than just an operating system. It's a symbol, a badge of entry into the world of cybersecurity. If you're a seasoned pro in cybersecurity, Kaylee is your essential toolkit. It's the Swiss army knife for penetration testers and ethical hackers. Respect. But let's be honest. If you installed it right after binge watching Mr. Robot, you're probably here for the hacker aesthetic, chasing that cinematic thrill. Your terminal is always set to green on black, glowing in the dark like in the movies, and it's always open, even if you're just running basic commands. Maybe you've even run NNMAP on your own router just to see what happens. You're not hacking the Gibson, you're hacking the vibe, channeling that digital mystique. Running Kaylee as your main OS is like wearing a racing suit to the grocery store. Total overkill, but you can't help but admire the ambition and style. Maybe, just maybe, it's a gateway to real learning, a first step into a deeper world. But for now, it's less about mastering the spells and more about perfecting the look, the I'm in aesthetic in all its glory. Fedora users are the quiet professionals. You want cutting edge tech with polish and stability. You love pure gnome, clean lines, and a workflow that just works. You're not here to rice your desktop. You're here to work efficiently. You get new features fast, but with Red Hat's quality assurance. RPM Fusion and CoPR might confuse you, but you figure it out. You're the competent, slightly nerdy, impeccably dressed professional of Linux. Debian users are the wise elders. You value stability above all else, rock solid, unshakable, proven. Your system is a foundation, not a playground. You run lightweight environments, avoid flashy trends, and play the long game. Your system just works day in and day out. You read the manual, trust the process, and measure up time in years. You're the silent backbone of Linux. You are at peace. You are on Debian. Gen 2 isn't a choice. It's a calling. You compile everything from source, tailoring your system to perfection. Use flags, see flags, and make .conf are your tools of creation. You measure time in emerged jobs, not minutes. Kernel panics are learning opportunities, not disasters. Your system is a unique masterpiece optimized to the last instruction. Others call you crazy, you call it enlightenment. You're on a spiritual journey and your destination is a perfectly compiled system. Pop OS users are the cool creative cousins of Ubuntu users. You want stability with flair and productivity features that just work. The cosmic desktop and auto tiling make your workflow seamless. Out of the box, Nvidia support and firmware management save you headaches. You appreciate thoughtful design and a system built for real work. 
You're a pragmatist with taste, blending power and style. Pop OS is for getting things done and looking good doing it. Linux Mint is the comfortable sweater of distros. You value comfort, stability, and a classic desktop metaphor. Cinnamon gives you a taskbar, start menu, and system icons. No reinvention needed. Mint sands off Ubuntu's rough edges and skips the snaps. You want reliability, not statements or endless tweaking. Mint is the quiet, dependable friend. Comfort food for Linux users. It's a testament to user-first design. Tails users are digital ghosts. You care only about privacy, absolute uncompromising amnesiac privacy. You run Tails from a USB stick, leaving no trace. Every connection is through Tor. Your system forgets everything on shutdown. You're a journalist, activist, or just serious about digital rights. Convenience doesn't matter, security does. You're disciplined, methodical, and prepared. You've chosen to live outside the system. Slackware users are legends, the OGs of Linux. You remember floppy disks and compiling kernels out of necessity. Slackware is about simplicity, stability, and the Unix philosophy. No handholding, no fancy installers, just scripts and tarballs. You resolve dependencies in your sleep and see modern package managers as bloat. Slackware is famously vanilla, clean, and predictable. You're the grizzled veteran, unfazed by trends. Using Slackware is like driving a classic car, pure and unfiltered. Nixos is the future, or a structured nightmare. You're a programmer at heart, craving order in system configuration. Everything is defined in configuration, Nix, your sacred text. Atomic upgrades, rollbacks, and reproducible environments are your reality. The learning curve is brutal, but the power is unmatched. You've stared down cryptic errors and emerged victorious. You're not just managing a computer, you're practicing computational science. You live in a reproducible paradise, built on your own tiers. LLFS, Linux from scratch, is the final boss. If you daily drive LFS, you're a creator god. You built your system from nothing, compiling every component by hand. You know every directory's purpose because you made them. You don't troubleshoot, you simply understand. Your system contains only code you explicitly put there. You're too powerful, almost a myth. If you use LFS, I'm reporting you to the authorities. From Ubuntu to LFS, every distro choice tells a story, a story about your needs, your values, and your journey in the world of open source. Each logo, each sticker is a chapter in that narrative. Do you seek convenience, control, privacy, or knowledge? Maybe you want a system that just works out of the box, or maybe you crave the challenge of building everything from scratch. Your distro is your answer, reflecting your priorities and your curiosity. There's no wrong choice, except maybe running Kali as a daily driver. Kidding. Mostly. Every selection is a learning experience, and even the wildest choices teach you something new. The best distro is the one that works for you and empowers you to do more, to explore, and to create without limits. The diversity of Linux is its greatest strength. There's a flavor for everyone, and that's what makes the community so vibrant and welcoming. It's a community of builders, tinkerers, and dreamers. People who aren't afraid to experiment, break things, and fix them again. Wear your distro as a badge of honor. It says something about you, your skills, and your willingness to try new things. So, which one are you? Drop it in the comments below, and let's see how diverse our community really is. And if you say LFS, I'm reporting you. Or maybe I'll just salute your bravery.